Today I'm checking my hunting broadhead on my hunting arrow versus a field point in regards to difference of sound on this arrow out of my bow to see how much louder the broadhead I hunt with is than a field point. Stay tuned. We have the target set up down there. We got ourselves a Reed R8050. Now I bought this a couple months ago. I was going to try to wait to do broadhead sound tests to winter so we could be doing these broadhead tests when it's too cold to shoot the gel. But it can't wait. I just filmed another one. Uh, that one will be dropping on the channel shortly. But we got this set up and this is one that I'm really eager to see because we have what I hunt with personally in the Cayuga Pilot Cut Gen 2. Now I do hunt with the bleeders on there, which they are still single bevel. And actually this broadhead right here, I killed a deer with this <laughs> last year. And uh, you can't tell. This is also the same broadhead I have filmed all the Cayuga tests with. That's how durable this broadhead is. And when I purchased these uh, last year, it was actually 45 bucks. American dollars for six of them with a bunch of extra bleeders and all that and you can shoot this broadhead without the bleeders If you just want a two blade single bevel uh, This is 125 grain. This arrow right here is a hunting arrow set up. This is 565 grains I got a hundred grain insert up front plus the 125 and this is a gold tip kinetic force It's 250 spine 9.8 grains per inch now I got my baby back. I got the Matthews Triax with the wake limbs on there to give me 83 pound draw. Went up to Valley Outdoors, first time I've ever been there. Really cool. Uh, got a D loop tied on and talked to the guys for a little bit. Have a good feeling we're going to be up there speed testing bows and all that fun stuff in their archery range upstairs. So if you're around us, go check it out. It's in Castagas. It's pretty cool. Cool owner. And, uh, the bow guy, I actually went to college with him, so that was pretty cool too. Got to see how he's doing, and got well, he got the D loop on there. Shot the girl, really liked the draw on it for how heavy it was. But we're gonna be shooting. Now, I'm not worried about the speed, but this hunting arrow is gonna be about 267 at 565 grains with this bow, which is really good. It, like I said, it's 27 inch draw, 83 pound, 83 and a half pound draw, and uh. Yeah, so I'm just going to stop talking. We're going to get this set. Power on. So we got to be DBC. We got to be fast and we got to be low. Okay, now that's set to hold the max, which that's going to be too high because my arrow is going to be quieter than that. So we'll have to reset. Like I said, this is a very sensitive, this is a high dollar decibel reader so it is extremely accurate so we're we're gonna and just just so you can see this is the normal acoustics which i'm okay with having on there because you hunt in this anyways it, i live in the middle of nowhere it's not like it's sound pollution it's just nature so that's normal so that's what you'd see hunting now Sixty-four point nine. We'll retrieve that. We'll shoot one more. Sixty-four point nine. Take two. Sixty-seven point seven. Let's shoot one more. Just to get a good average. So sixty-four point nine and sixty-seven point seven. Personally, I believe it's 67.7. It's the first time I shot my field point, it was 69.5. So I would believe this would be closer to a field point. Okay, let's do one more. 64.9, 67.7. I have a good feeling it's going to be closer to 67.7. I'll have to reset that. It'll be above it. 
70.5. So we got 70.5, 67.7, .7, and 64.9. That one I shot as close to it as I possibly could. What we'll do is we will reset this. Now we will exclude the first shot because I don't believe it was a good read at the 64.9. So we had 70 point whatever, 67.7. .7. Now we'll shoot this last one and this will be our three average. Yeah, 69.2. So 67.7, 69.2, and 70.7, .7, I think. That's pretty dang quiet. So now we'll take and use the field point that I use personally. These are iron well field points. I really like them. Just there is what it is. Uh, they're 125 grains. So, so we got 67.7, 69.2, .7, like, and 70.7, I believe. Let me just put that in a, a note. If any broadhead style target wants to sponsor the channel, let me know. <laughs> because we shoot more broadheads into targets than uh, anyone I know. That one, which the name will not be revealed. Uh, I've, I've had it for a, a little bit now, and I've already probably put 100 broadheads in that thing. So, just saying. If there's a broadhead style target company out there, that wants to get on the channel, let us know. This will be the same weight arrow as what I was just shooting, which is, I do believe is a big factor in this. I think weight definitely quiets your arrow. But, here we go. Okay, so field point, shot one. Same, oh. Field point, shot one. Same exact everything. Seventy four point five. Huh. Interesting. First time I shot it was sixty nine point. Five. I think what we'll do for this is we'll take the two closest speeds for both and then uh, use those as the average because I don't believe that that was 74. We'll just exclude that one. I don't, I don't think that was a good read. So we'll shoot three more. Sixty six point zero. So we'll use that as shot one. So sixty six point zero is shot one. Sixty five. And like I said, I, I'm going with uh, the first shot I know was misread. It's just that ain't gonna happen, you know what I mean? Okay, so last shot. I bet it's going to be 67. 68.9. So that gives us our three speeds. And uh, my opinion on this, I think an average is key. So these were the three speeds. The Cayuga Pilot Cut Gen 2. 67.7, 69.2, 70.7. So we'll take the two closest... So we'll get rid of the 67.7. So you're talking 69.2 and 70.7. .7. Now that is an average 69.2, 70.7. That is an average of 69.95 for sound. Now if it's not 70.7, I'll put the corrected on the... I can't remember what it was. I'm pretty sure it was 70.7. .7. Might have been 70.5. Uh, but... I'll put the corrected average and all that right up here. Heck, I'll, I'll get out of the way and I'll, I can put everything right here. So the Cayuga, the two speeds we took, 69.2, 70.7. That is an average of 69.95. Now, for the field point, 
We are taking the 68.9 and the 66. And so that one is 68.9 plus, what was it, 66 divided by 2. So that gives us an average of 67.45. That Cayuga broadhead, on average, was 69.95. The, the field point was 67.45. So a single bevel with bleeders is only a little bit, like a touch louder than my field point. So I'll put everything right here. The math comes out to the Cayuga Pilot Cut Gen 2. The average is 69.95. The field point sits on average 67.45. And then there's your difference. So what is that? 2.5 decibels. So such a small minute difference now what i do want to try going forward the more that we do this i had six different videos that i could have filmed today i'm going to wait i want to see what you guys have to say of this because i have a couple different ways to tweak this test already uh, but it's really hard to do when you're by yourself so i'll have to wait for the guys but i have a couple different tweaks to really get the full understanding of this and uh, going forward, I do want to test different aero wraps, aero wraps in general, uh, veins, helicals, all that. As I fletch mine to a left-handed helical, that's just how I've always done them because it clocks to my bow, so I keep that spin. And that is exactly what I hunt with. Uh, my Cayuga Pilot Cut Gen 2, it's an Australian broadhead. It is filthy on them. It's insanely tough, and the rotation's unreal being a single bevel, and I like the bleeders on it. It just puts a huge hole in them. They, the doe I killed last year went 20-some yards, if that, and dropped and was done. And it, that was a shot from the ground, and it was a, I mean, it was a crime scene. It was a blood trail through. It blew through shoulder, blew through everything. It was awesome. You guys probably have seen that hunt already. But anyways... So we're going to be doing a lot more of this. I spent the money, big money on this, and I got the sound calibrator uh, just so we can be as crystal clear as we can. I will say, however, in my honest opinion, I think the only way to do these tests is an on average because what I've noticed, I've shot probably 20 to 50 arrows today with this decibel reader with different broadheads, and I threw away one test completely. Uh, just the, the, the readings were too inconsistent, but I figured it out. If you have the same spot, you shoot to the same spot, it reads accurately. It's just once you get closer or above or below, it changes your reading. So averages are the only way, and the way we'll do it going forward is we'll shoot three arrows with whatever we're testing. We'll throw away the, the big gap and keep the two that are closer, keep that for an average because that's going to be more realistic, and we'll do that going forward. So guys, as always, Drop in the comments. Let us know what broadheads you want to see us test. I'm only doing this with fixed heads. Uh, maybe I'll throw it into broadhead tests, but it would be really hard to not shoot this and still get an accurate read in for it. So we probably won't for mechanicals. But we got a ton of tests coming. I got a ton lined up that we, we will do. And I have a little tweak to this to get a little bit extra out of it. But that's pretty cool. I learned that my hunting setup with my hunting broadhead is... Point, well, 2.5 decibels louder than my my field point arrow. So that's really awesome. It, that gives me a lot more confidence, especially with the performance. But smash thumbs up button for your boys. Drop your comments below, like always. Subscribe to the channel. Check us out on Rumble. Give us a follow. We're going to be uploading a ton more content on Rumble. Still going to stick with the usual upload schedule on YouTube. I'm putting more on Patreon as well. It's an absolute grind keeping up with all this, but I'm doing my best to get everything out there. We already have nine or ten videos for members on YouTube. We got four to five videos on Patreon that are early. And on Rumble, we got two dropping this week. We got more coming after I film all these. So we're getting after it. So guys, as always, this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. Can't wait to see what you think of these tests. I've been waiting to do these. Uh, but we're going to do them a lot more now. They're, they're pretty fun. But hope you're having a great day. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one.